Yes, guys. So today I'm taking questions based on triangles. Okay. Now questions based on areas and perimeters of triangles. That is the today's topic. Okay. Now in this category, I'll take all kinds of triangles. Okay. I mean area of a triangle. Sorry. <coughs> and how to find that perimeter of a triangle? Actually, whenever I just come here. I just have a uh, yoni, okay. So that yoni is due to my tiredness, okay, because I'm too much uh, laborious person. I'm working uh, since morning, okay, till night, okay. So that is the problem with me, and I sleep uh, very for later time, okay. So that is the point. But I'll take my rest completely, okay. Now comes the point. So this point, I mean, these questions are based on areas and perimeter of times. This is my third year uh, third lecture series in geometric period okay in which i have first discussed about what are everything geometrical i mean topics which i'm going to take in this um, in geometry section so geometry section is very important for examination point of view okay for complete examination point of view this topic is very much important that's why i have taken this as first lecture series now in this lecture series i'll take <coughs> i'll take Lines and angles questions based on them. Now I'm taking second lecture, third, third lecture series. Third lecture series takes uh, I'm taking triangles questions based on triangles, areas, and perimeters. Now let me just remind you what are the areas, not remind you, but I'm just beginning here. Okay, uh, before that, I just introduced what kind of triangles are there, and uh, now what's the perimeter and areas of triangles, and then these questions based on them. So, with the help of these questions, I will verify that what is the important question which are being asked in the complete examination. Okay, so for that point of view, I have taken these questions from the students' queries. They have asked me these questions from different examinations. Okay, they have appeared in. Okay, so or they have studied these questions. They have not understood those questions because of that. They have asked me these questions. Okay, these questions. So I will verify every question by pronouncing every question what is given here then solving that question okay with the given okay perimeter area and perimeter questions I mean formally so let me first discuss about what are the basic formulae for areas of triangles and perimeters let me discuss about areas and perimeters areas and perimeters <coughs> Perimeters of triangles. Now, this is symbol for triangle. Sometimes we take for area. This symbol is used for area, area of triangle. Okay. This triangle is called something. First formula: If let me take if the sides of a triangle. This is first and foremost. I mean formula, which is important. If the sides of a triangle. Of a triangle, let me take ABC. Are small a, small b, and c. Okay, respectively. Then perimeter first perimeter, then the perimeter and the area and the area of any of the triangle of the triangle or any triangle ABC of the triangle ABC in this case I have taken ABC triangle okay. if there is a triangle given to us any type of triangle and sides are suppose this is A opposite this D angle we have taken A as a side of the length of the, the side A okay and if and against B or opposite B this is B opposite C this is C this is a triangle then the triangle okay and the length of the triangles are given as abc where a is the opposite to angle a b is opposite to angle b and the c the c length is opposite to angle c this is capital c here try to understand okay so then area of the triangle for area first let me take perimeter perimeter first formula for this is perimeter we take perimeter these formula are used or these formulae are used just to solve these questions. That's why I'm taking all that all types of perimeter formula and areas formula. Okay. So let me take perimeter. 
and this is noted by small s, small s, we write like this, or we write as, let me take the small s like this. So we know the perimeter, small s, this is semi-perimeter. This b, this b find out as a plus b plus c divided by b. So this is called a semi-perimeter. Small s is here, semi-perimeter. Perimeter is perimeter twice s. If I take, I will take twice s here. This is 2 into s, equal to a plus b plus c. Okay, this is perimeter or semi-perimeter. Then we find out semi-perimeter, which is equal to a plus b plus c divided by 2. Okay, so this is semi-perimeter, sorry, semi-perimeter, and this is perimeter. So this is the first formula. We can apply this is second formula we can apply here. An area is given by an area that we represent this area delta by this triangular sign or sign for triangle. So this area is equal to how much? This is okay, this small s is square root. This small s into small s minus a, this small s minus b into s minus c. Now this area, I have proved this number of times, I mean in case of trigonometry, you can see my trigonometric series. There I have discussed about how to, what is the solution of triangles. So we talk solution of triangles, we have discussed about all this arrow formula, this one is arrow formula. This is, what these are, this is known as Aaron's formula. Aaron's formula. Okay, so perimeter or formulas. Okay, these are formulae. Okay, the formula. These are known as now we have to use here these. These are known as these are known as Aaron's formula. Okay. Why? Because this is perimeter, this is semi-perimeter, small s. This is small s here, semi-perimeter. And this is area. So there are three formulae. Okay, based on Harold's formula. And that we have taken here. Okay, this is the first type of triangle. Any triangle whose sides are given. The sides of the triangle are given. If the sides of a triangle ABC are ABC respectively, then or if sides are given. If length of the sides are given, this is all if length of sides. If length of sides of a triangle are given, then we can apply this formula. Okay, so this is what have a formula. This is for any triangle. The sides of this are given. Okay, the length of the sides of this are given to us. Then we can find out area of the triangle. Now let us take any other triangle in which altitude is given, base is given. Okay. Area of any triangle, area of any triangle ABC in which in which altitude means height or height, so you take height, height and its base or length of the base are given are given then how do you find out so if there is a triangle if take this is the triangle here and this is height this is edge height let me take perpendicular drawn okay from the vertex to the base you take this is the BD. AD is the height S. Here AD is equal to H, height of the triangle. This is height of the triangle ABC. Of the triangle ABC, sorry. Of the triangle ABC. And base length, let me take, this is a small A length. Or we can take, in this case, A we have taken but we can take B also. Okay, so whatever the base we have taken, then the perpendicular drawn upon that base from the opposite vertex is known as height of the triangle. Suppose if I take base here AC, then perpendicular is to be drawn from PC. 
to be drawn from PC to AC. Then this B, D, suppose this is BE, BE will be height then perpendicular drawn from B to the side AC, then AC will be base. And so we can draw, we can take any side as a base, then perpendicular drawn from the positive vertex to that base is known as height of the triangle. It is three types of area formula for this triangle can be done three, uh, three types. Okay? There are three types of formulae for this, I mean three uh, kinds of formulae or we can find the area of this triangle in three ways, we can say. In three ways means three formulas are there which have the same area, area will be same. Okay. Either we take BC as the base or AC as the base or AB as the base. If AB is second base then from C we have to draw perpendicular to AB and that perpendicular height, I mean the height of that perpendicular will be the height of the triangle in that situation of area. AD is H, base in this case is BC and base BC is equal to A that we take. Then area of the triangle ABC. Area of the triangle ABC equal to half base into height. So any triangle, area of any triangle in which height and base is given. So this is the square unit. The unit of the area is a square unit. Okay, so a square unit means any unit is a square centimeter. Why? Because this meter into meter, length into, I mean unit into unit is so a square unit. Okay, so unit of the area is a square unit. Now there is, now the other plane figures. In plane figures, we are having length and breadth. Okay. There are two dimensional figures here. We are considering here two dimensional figures for triangles. Okay, then triangles of different kinds of triangles. So in triangle, only length and breadth are given. In geometric and on this geometric section, we are taking two dimensional figures here, which are lying on the earth. Means geo, geo means earth, geometry, measurement of earth. Means if a plane figure is lying on the earth, that means it is having length and breadth. The area, the unit of the area is a square unit. Five points, this is square unit. Okay, so this is area of any triangle, base into height. In this case, we have taken here half base A into height H, a square unit. Okay, now this formula can be used for any triangle. Okay, this is half base into height. Now from this, suppose area is A. Area A is equal to this. Now if I have to find out base, or base equal to if I find base and this is twice into area, two into area divided by height. So in this case, if height is given, area is given, we can find out base or height is equal to. If we have to find out the height, then two into area divided by base. Cross multiplication is twice will come here, two into a means area. <coughs> 2 into area divided by either base or by or by or divided by h height. So if it is height divided by height, then base can be calculated. Divided by base, then height can be calculated. So here the another formula. This is for first formula. This is in terms of this equation. Second formula. I mean third is this. This sec first and second are same. I mean here are written down. In the terms of length of breadth, but this is based on base into height, half base into height is the area of triangle. Now, from this formula, basic formula, we can find out two other formulae, which is third and fourth. This fourth and the third formula are from the area, two into area upon height equal to base, two into area upon base into base equal to height. So this is the two more formulae are there. So, this, so this is for any triangle. Now, what the perimeter? Some of the length of the three sides of this triangle, if lengths are given. Now let us take this is any triangle. We have talked about. Now there are other <coughs> formulae from Harold's formula. We could take that there are other formulae which we are not to apply here, but sometimes they are also find out. Area is also given by half base B into C. Lengths are given of the triangle. B and C are the lengths of the two sides. B is against angle B and C is against angle C. And against angle A. So angle A is 
between the two sides B and C. For example, if it is triangle, let A is the angle here. This is B side, this is C side. If C and B side, these two lengths are given, and the angle between these two sides is angle A. This is the sign of A. So half base, a uh, half BC in two lengths are given, and angle A, angle with them is given, and we can apply this formula. So to give some solution of triangles, we this is called or area is equal to half. If it is AC or C, we take C. Then sign of B and or it can be area equal to or or. Area is equal to 1.2. Now A B into side C. So the C angle is between side A B. I mean A length of the side against this A. The angle against A is A and B is this side. This is angle C. We see here. If I take angle C, sine of angle C, then sides are B and A or A B. Half A B into sine C. The square unit. You know, we are always right. This, this formula can also be used. Second, this we have discussed in solution of triangles in trigonometry. Please see my lectures in trigonometry series. Okay, in the end, twenty third or twenty fourth video. Those for the are discussed there. Okay, so now comes the points. So this is these are the three other formula for area, finding the areas of triangles. Now let us say equilateral triangles and isosceles triangles. What are the areas in case? Isosceles triangles are given. Okay. Okay. Now, if I take the area of an isosceles triangle of an iso isosceles triangle, let me take ABC triangle is given. Now, if I take let me take again ABC triangle, any triangle. Isosceles triangle. Now these two sides are given to as equal. This is A, B. Now these two sides are given equal. This is A side. This is B side. This is C side. So B and C sides are given as equal sides. Okay. And this is A side here. Let me take this is A side. If I draw perpendicular from there. Now because this is angle bisector in this case, perpendicular drawn from this. I should say triangle because these two triangles, these two angles are equal. And will be equal to angle C because these two sides are equal. Okay, so I'm sorry, this I have to take here B. I have to take B is the equal side here. Area of an isosceles triangle, ABC. We have B side and B side are equal, so these two angles are equal. Here, <coughs> let AB equal to AC equal to B. The two sides are equal. The two sides AB and AC are equal. Are equal in length. This is known as isosceles triangle. Okay, and let's say length of the base BC equal to A. Let us take. If this is length of the base A. Now, if I draw perpendicular, this will meet at midpoint D. Let me take this is A by two. This is also A by two. Now, if I have to find out height, height of this triangle, this H let me take here. A D square by pi over H is equal to this is one of the sides of making the right angle. It will be hypotenuse square means AB square minus BD square. Hypotenuse square minus other side square means base square equal to perpendicular square. If I have taken angle B, okay, that is there. Now this AB square is B square minus BD is half of A plus B. That means this is 4B square minus A square. Upon 4, this is value of AD, the height. AD square. Therefore, AD is equal to half of 1.4 is equal to this, and this will give us 4B square minus A square, where A is the base and B is the 
length of the e4 side. Try to understand. <coughs> okay. So this is there. Or b square minus a square. Okay. Where b is the e4 side and a is the length of the base. Okay. So this is height a d. So this is height a d. Let me take first equation. Height AD is now calculated. What is the area? Therefore, the area of triangle isosceles triangle ABC is equal to half base into height. This is basic formula for area of any triangle, calculate area of any triangle, square unit. Now, if I substitute these values, of height and base, let me put that. Therefore, area of an isosceles triangle, isosceles triangle, isosceles triangle ABC in this case, any triangle ABC we have written, isosceles triangle is ABC here. This will be half base. Base is A, this complete side is BC, that means, or is it BC in AD? So this will give us half BC. BC is the base, which is A, total length of A, into, into, <coughs> sorry, into height is 1.2, the square root of. Yeah, 4b square minus a square. Now in this case, this uh, b b is the length of the equal set. So this is giving us a by 4 square root 4b square minus a square. Okay, square unit. This is area of isosceles triangle. So here, what are the a and B here we have taken B is the here B is the length of the equal side length of equal sides so two sides are equal this is also I first time equal sides two equal sides or B is the length of equal sides and A is the base A is the length of base 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 of the triangle, base of the triangle, now here A is the base of the triangle, if I take B as the base of the triangle and A as the side of the two sides, if that can also be taken, then it will be B, will be A here and this will be B in that situation, B upon 4, that will be that and 4A is can not be square, it can be done, this is how area of isosceles triangle is set here, so, so this is area of an isosceles triangle. Now, if I have to find out what is the perimeter of this, this is twice A, twice B in this case, B is the length of the equal size, plus A, twice B plus A, now A and B, we can calculate in terms of this one, twice B plus A, if A is the length of the base here. Now, so this is the associated time, now equilateral time, now area of an equilateral triangle. Electron triangle ABC electric. Any triangle ABC we are taking. Equilateral means all sides are equal. Three sides are equal. This is suppose A, A, A side. All sides are equal here. Again, drop perpendicular. This perpendicular meet at midpoint. This is also A by A by 2. This is also A by 2. This is height H is perpendicular zone. Okay, so A D is the height here. The area of an equilateral triangle, equilateral triangle is given by root 3 by 4 into side sphere, into side of the sphere, the square unit. Now how this is calculated, this is again half base into height. First height I have to calculate. So height will be in this case here height 
AD is equal to 12 of now what is this AD? AD square will be again AB square minus BD square. That will be AD square minus A square minus half uh, A whole square. That is A square upon 4. It will be 1 upon 2 of upon this is 4 A square minus A square. So nothing but 1 upon 2. The square root of this is 3A square. That means A and then 3. This is a 1.2 a root. So this is a height. Just for area of the equilateral triangle. Of the equilateral triangle. A B C in this case is equal to half base, half recognized base into height. This is the basic formula for area of any triangle. Now, value substitution. This is 1.2 into base. Base is complete A because A is the length here. We have taken. And then, what is height? Height is 1.2 A root 3. We see a root 3 into A square upon 4. This is root 3 upon 4 into A square, which is side square. This is square root. This is area. Now, interesting perimeter is 3a because all the three sides are added. So, a plus a plus a, three times. This is perimeter of the equilateral triangle. This equilateral triangle's area and perimeter is in this way we could calculate. If any triangle is given, we just directly substitute the formula. This is formula. And root 3 by 4 into side square means a square in this case a. At a scale. Perimeter is the perimeter of equilateral triangle. Perimeter is equal to 3 into side, length of the side, or 3 into A. Okay, this is unit, meter, or centimeter, whatever unit is there. 3A, three, 3 into side unit. Unit here is unit of the length, length of the Three sides. This A plus A plus A, three A. On the three sides of the A. Okay, so this is how length, uh, sorry, perimeter and area of equilibrium triangle is calculated. Now, all the formula we have discussed about. Now, let me take questions one by one. Okay, all these questions, and if there is anything left regarding area and perimeter of triangles, then I'll discuss that. Later on, whatever the question I write is. Okay. All these questions are taken from students' queries, online queries. Okay, because most of the students they have written to these to me. They ask me that these uh, these have appeared in some of the exam exams related to their respective exams. Okay, most of the exams there are higher higher degree. I mean, of higher category like. IES, PCS as well as Indian, near GRE, GMAT, SET, MAT, CAT, CAT exam is Indian, okay, this is your file for management, computer exam for management, study your management courses, okay, so management courses for that CAT and MAT, these two are exams in which students appear in India, okay, and then GMAT is for USA, doing MBA from USA, for that GMAT is required for GMAT, and for examination of GMAT, also these questions are appearing. Okay, some of them have appeared in GMAT also. So GMAT, CAT, SET, okay, GRE, and uh, uh, SET, okay, SET are taken, and uh, double AOs, Provision Officers, Bank Provision Officers, double AOs, Assistant Administrative Officers in GIC and LIC, okay, and SSC examinations, all kinds of computer examinations in India, IES, PCS, okay, for UPS exams, preliminary exams, mostly. For preliminary exams for UPSC, uh, mathematics is required so that computer mathematics is here. I'm talking about geometry part. Okay, so this is geometry part we are discussing. Now let's take questions one by one. Question number one, but what is the same question? Number one has two parts. A. There are two sections of this A and B. There are two questions here which are taken in question number one. Let me now read first. The base of the right angle triangle, okay. So, the area of the right angle triangle is what this are left hand, sorry. The area of the right angle triangle also have this as above. 
area of a right angled triangle that is first talk about right angled triangle this is also left to the right angled triangle is equal to half product of the into product of the two sides which makes right angle which makes a right angle a right angle in the two angle or we can say half base into perpendicular in this case altitude is perpendicular here okay base into perpendicular units is very units this is area of an uh, of a right angle triangle that in time we have already height is this perpendicular this is right angle triangle this is perpendicular here so if i take a b c now this is base let me take base here this is the base a b is the height of perpendicular this is perpendicular here this is known as altitude of perpendicular or height this is height base into height so these two sides are forming or making right angle b angle is right angle here so this right angle b is made by the base and the perpendicular okay the base these two sides are made we have written half uh, down here half product of the two sides which make right angle so those two right two, two sides are base and perpendicular we have multiplied the base and perpendicular and the half of that so this is area of a right angle triangle try to understand if uh length of the hypotenuse is calculated then we can calculate by the scale ac square is equal to this square this is by pythagoras so we can use and we can find out hypotenuse also or if one of the sides is given area is given then can also be calculated now, now in this case what is the question all about let me take the question here in this case question says that what is the area of a right angle triangle so area of a, a right angle triangle in this question it says the base of a right angle triangle right angle triangle is 5 units and hypotenuse is 13 units find its area now let me take that this is a right angle triangle we have given here now in this case base is 5 cm it is given to us let me take a b c So BC is base is this is base base BC is equal to five centimeter. Hypotenuse AC 